Good morning, folks. It is Friday morning on the 17th of December, and we're going to continue the story this morning as we read together of the angels appearing to the shepherds. So we're going to read from Luke chapter 2, verses 13 to 20. Let's read God's word together. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those in whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. Amen. That one angel suddenly became a, a vast amount of angels. It, as, as it puts it here, the um, armies of heaven or some of the other translations would say, a multitude of angels. And imagine how those shepherds felt. Yes, I'm sure they were scared and they were frightened, but they had been chosen by God. Think of that line that the, the angels were, 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 were praising God and saying, it says, glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth to those in whom, with whom God is pleased or those on whom God's favour rests. Those shepherds certainly would have felt that way. They had been told about the Messiah. They had been deemed worthy enough to be told about the Messiah. Shepherds didn't have a good reputation in those days. They were smelly. They were um, a bit boisterous. Uh, they always caused trouble when they came to town. People really didn't like them. And yet they were worthy enough to be told about Jesus being born and to be invited, to be told where to find him so they could go and see him. It shows us that our worthiness is not about us, but about how God sees us. And we're not worthy because of what we have done or not done, but we're worthy because of what God has done for us. This little baby coming makes us worthy to be called God's children to be his sons and daughters, to be part of his family. And that's incredible and amazing. And again, it's just the love which he pours out onto us. The word that keeps coming back through that passage is peace. Peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. And just as the shepherds would have gone, think of the peace as they would have crept into that manger, not to wake the baby. I just think of how they felt as they left again, telling people about what had happened. They certainly felt God's presence and peace. God wants us to feel and to know his peace today and every day. And we have that peace because of this Saviour Jesus. Today, the weekend and over Christmas time and, and in the days that lie ahead, I pray that you would know that peace from God that you would know that reassurance, that you would know that you are worthy because of what he has done for you. That no matter how you think of yourself, think of yourself how God does, that you're his child and he just wants to put his arms around you, that you're part of his family and just let him in. Let's pray. Dear God and loving Heavenly Father, thank you today for your peace a peace which passes any understanding that we have. A peace that reminds us that you're with us. A peace that puts his arms around us and holds us close. A peace that makes us worthy with you. Father, you're an amazing God and you have done amazing things for us. Father, may we just let you in and let you change and transform our lives and let, us sh and let you show us everything that you have for us. Lord, this Christmas time, may we know your peace. For it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen. 
Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. It's been great to have you on. Um, just trust and pray that you do have a peaceful weekend. Uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow morning, and then on Sunday morning, it's our service at 11 o'clock. It's actually our carol service, so you're very welcome to join us um, in person. But if you want to join us online, it will be streamed at 11 o'clock as normal, and then back to continue the readings on Monday. But until then, take care and God bless.